والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم This program is sponsored by the Spai Charity Foundation. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. I welcome you all once again to our program on a series of talks on the Day of Judgment and the Journey of the Hereafter. With our distinguished and honored guest, Sheikh Dr. Ma'an Kusa. So let's welcome him in our program. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Kusa. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Abu Jibba. Sheikh, uh, we were talking in our previous episode about the uh, general scenario and the picture of Al Hashr. Um, so I had a question in mind. You mentioned earlier that in the graves there will be different people, people who are suffering from punishments and people those who will be getting blessings. So on the day of Hashr, on the day of gathering, uh, will the people be equal in the same situation? What will, what will be the condition of people over there? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala khayri al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in All praises be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I think Abdul Jabbar by now uh, It's clear that Starting from the moments of death There will be two tracks so People are not treated equally And the uh, impact and the effect of people of the person's own deeds will show up during the moments of death how the soul is taken out uh, how he is treated in the grave how he is gathered and so on so they they will not be equal uh, the criminals and the believers will not be equal they will be treated differently from the moments uh, of death and that applies to the uh, gathering, the day of gathering. They will not be gathered under the same uh, circumstances and situations. So, uh, so Sheikh, let's first talk about the condition of the evildoers. How will their condition be while waiting? Uh, our Prophet وسلم, out of his you know, uh, mercy and uh, uh, concern about teaching us all things that we need, did mention to us a lot of uh, incidents and events of the day of gathering so that will be aware and take the lessons from them uh, as for the wrongdoers he told us for example about those who don't pay the zakah which is the obligatory uh, two two point five percent of one's own earnings or one own savings the prophet said those who used to hold gold, their gold and silver, and don't pay its zakah, on the day of gathering, on the day of judgment, their saved and stored silver and gold will be made into plates, will be heated in hellfire, and they will be ironed in their uh, foreheads and their sides by those plates. And whenever those plates cool down they will be heated up again in hellfire and he will be ironed with them again and this continues the Prophet ﷺ said this continues for 50,000 years referring to the day of gathering until it is then decided at the time of judgment whether he will be destined to fire 
or to paradise. That was one example. Uh, you also mentioned about the person who does not pay the zakah in the uh, his livestock because somebody if somebody has camels or sheep or cows again he has to pay zakah in this. The Prophet mentioned the example of a person who doesn't pay the zakah of the camels, for example. He said that on the day of judgment, if he was not paying their z the zakah for them, then those camels will step on him. And by the time the last of them, the last of the camels step on him, the first one will go in round and start step stepping on him again. So they will keep, you know, circulating and stepping on him. Again, the Prophet said, for a day or for 50,000 years, the, until it is decided then, at the time of judgment, whether he will be destined to fire or to, to paradise. And there are, you know, other uh, examples. Uh, shall we add uh, some more um, about the evildoers? I would like to know about the good doers as well, uh, the true believers. Uh, okay, uh, let me mention one or two uh, as well here, and then we can probably move to the... Uh, Yes, uh, the Prophet ﷺ also mentioned about the arrogant people. He said that the arrogant people on the Day of Judgment, al mutakabbirun they will be gathered in the form of ants. So they will look like men, but they are of the size of ants, stepped by people. So you know, this is their reward. Because of their arrogance in this life, they will be humiliated and stepped on on the uh, Day of Judgment. Uh, he also mentioned about the betrayers, those who don't keep their promises and betray people. He said every betrayer on the Day of Judgment, on the Day of Gathering, where all people are gathered, everyone would have a flag uh, sticked or immersed in his back. And the height of the flag depends on how bad his betrayal was. And it will be written on the flag, this is the betrayer so and so calling him by his name and the name of his father. So he will be exposed to all uh, people in that uh, gathering because of the, his, his bad uh, act of betrayal. So these are some of the examples the Prophet mentioned about uh, how people suffer from their sins on the uh, day of gathering. So now, Sheikh, uh, what about the condition of the good doers and the true believers? The general rule is that the good doers and the believers on the day of judgment, on the day of gathering, will be saved from 